this has got to be the biggest empties I've ever had. The most empties. So much trash. Oh my god. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to literally, I'm not even like exaggerating, <laughs> the biggest empties video I've ever had. I'm imagining this is going to be pretty dang long. I just kind of lost track of time and before I knew it, I filled up my empties bag and then I filled up a whole basket of things and then it was overflowing and then I was like, oh, I probably should do an empties video. I don't even know the last time I did an empties video. It's bad. That's bad. But I hope you guys have a snack and you're ready to enjoy some trash talk. This is one of your favorite videos to watch. It's one of my favorite videos to watch. Um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I just feel like when someone has used up an entire product, they really know whether or not they like it. And also, if you follow the same person, like if you follow me, and you've watched enough of their empties videos, you start to realize the products that they really like because they're always in the empties videos. You know what I mean? Like you see trends and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna hop into it because I have a lot of stuff and I just, I'm just gonna hop into it. So first thing I had to take these out because my thing was overflowing, but all of these Batistes I finished up, this actually might be a new record. And one of these I had to throw away. I brought one with me to Hilton Head and I threw it away because I didn't want to like carry, it was gone, but I didn't want to like bring back an empty thing of, you know what I'm talking about? So, two, four, six, eight, nine, because I left one in Hilton Head. Anyways, Batiste is my favorite dry shampoo. If you can't tell, the Bright and Lively Floral is my favorite, favorite scent. I just feel like it smells the most clean, like the most, you know, like actual shampoo, you know what I mean? I did kind of venture out of my bubble a little bit and try some new flavors, or not flavors, you don't eat it, scents this last time, um, like this rose gold. I actually don't mind the rose gold very much. It's, it's okay. I didn't like nice. Nice just kind of had like a, oh, this one's totally gone. I can't even get any air out of it. It just had almost like a um, powdery sweet scent to it. Um, but yeah, if you have never used Batiste before, it's the most powdery dry shampoo so it does leave a little bit of a white residue which I don't mind because I have light hair they do have um, like a tinted version for darker haired people but basically because it's so powdery it really soaks up all the oil so I'll spray it in and then I'll kind of like zhuzh it into my roots like this and just kind of like as if I was using actual shampoo just kind of like smush it into my hair like that and then brush it through with a brush and I can go like six days without washing my hair. So already repurchased. I also have a couple of liter bottles of shampoo in here. So this is one of them. This is the uh, Paul Mitchell Lemon Sage Thickening Shampoo. This pump was actually broken so I like swapped it out. I already repurchased it so I swapped out the pump that was on this with the pump that was on the broken one, you know what I mean? So anyways, the bottle itself is empty. Matt and I both use this. It just kind of gives your hair a little bit more of a thickening feeling and that tea tree in the actual shampoo just kind of invigorates your scalp a little bit. I love this stuff. He loves this stuff. We've gone through five bottles of that, like a ton. And then I also went through a liter of the AG Color Saver Shampoo and conditioner. Um, AG has gotten really expensive lately. It's not even part of the, like, the leader sale at Ulta anymore. So I think they're just becoming more of a prestige brand. Maybe more people are finding out about them. I don't know. So I don't know that I will repurchase this simply because it is so much more expensive than it used to be, and I can't get it on sale anymore. Um, but if I ever can, I will, because this is my favorite shampoo and conditioner. The Color Saver one smells so good. It has like a candy, like, like it, it smells like a specific candy and I can't quite ever put my finger on it, but it smells so good. So I finished those up and I have another shampoo and conditioner in here. You can tell I was using a bunch of shampoos and conditioners like at the same time because they all ran out at the same time. So this is the Kenra Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. This is something I probably will not repurchase. Oh wow, that squirted everywhere. Okay, well, there's a little bit left on the top there, but it's gone. Um, I just, I, compared to other shampoos and conditioners that I use, this wasn't my favorite, so I probably will not purchase another version of these. I've really been into Paul Mitchell lately. They're um, like thickening or botifying one, the one that's in the purple container. 
I've really been liking that lately. But yeah, so I won't repurchase that. And I think that's it for shampoo and conditioner. I mean, there's a ton of stuff in here. I'm just going to pull from the top. Um, actually, I pulled this out already. The Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. This is something I've repurchased time and time again. My hair care routine is not the same without this. There is like a creamy version of this that you can use instead of the spray version, which is nice in certain situations, but there's nothing quite like the spray itself. It just leaves your hair so soft and so smooth, and it's supposed to speed up your blow dry time. I don't know that it actually does that, but what it does to your hair other than that is so beneficial. Like it's smooth, it's silky, it's shiny, it smells good, it's just when I don't use this, I can definitely tell. So I, I've already, I already have a new bottle that will always repurchase that. Um, next thing here, I have a lot of lotions in here. I'm gonna try to dig them out. I use lotion every single day. If I don't use lotion, I will use some sort of like in shower lotion type thing. Um, that's a lotion, just because I don't know. Like I don't think I have super duper dry skin at least not this time of the year. Around winter time, my skin does get really, really dry. But this time of the year, it's not super dry, it's just kind of normal. But it's just a routine and a habit that I've done. My mom does it, so I think that's kind of where I picked it up. Just putting lotion on every single day is just something that I do, it's just part of my routine. Um, so I end up going through a ton just because that is part of my routine. It also just makes my body smell really good, which I think is another reason why I do it. So I have an um, in-shower lotion. This is the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. I really, really liked this, you guys. Like, I think the last time I talked to y'all about it, I was kind of like, oh, I like this, but I don't love it. I actually really love it now. So I might end up buying it again. It is really super moisturizing, like so much so that like, I don't want to say sticky, but like it's just kind of tacky if you put too much on. But I love it. I wish they had more scents because I'm not a huge fan of this scent. It's just like a Jergens, you know, scent. But um, loved that so, so much. And then I have four body lotions here. So I have two from Victoria's Secret. This is their Tangled Blooms. I got this during their like semi-annual sale in June. And I actually picked these up in Savannah when Matt and I went for my birthday. Um, it smells super good. I actually, um, oh, it actually smells really good. I got the spray of this too, which I ended up decluttering because the pump stopped working. So I don't know what that's all about, but it smells really good. I think this is a discontinued scent and I actually do not purchase like body care at Victoria's Secret very frequently. This just happens to be a fluke, but this does smell really good. So there's that. And then I have one Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath & Body Works, my ultimate favorite. I have a ton of these on backup. Oh my god, I just, I cannot wait for them to come out with this again. I have enough backup, but I just like, I like to test out the new stuff that they have, like the scrubs, and every year they just have something new. Um, love that scent. And then I also finished up one of the Bath & Body Works Chamomile and Honey. This was a seasonal one, I don't think you can find it anymore. It smells so good though. It's just, it's nice to mix up the scents occasionally. So this one was nice and it had chamomile oil in it too. I have some more of these on backup. So you might see more of these in empties in the future. So there's those. And then as far as shower gels go, um, I have one in my shower that's about to be empty right now. I actually have two in my shower that are about to be empty, but I did end up finishing two vanilla bean Noel. Oh wait, this is a body lotion. So I had five body lotions. Um, I have one Vanilla Bean Noel and one French Lavender and Honey. I love Bath & Body Works shower gels. I just, they smell good. French Lavender and Honey is one of my favorites. So sad they discontinued it. It's just like fresh and like kind of floral. And then of course Vanilla Bean Noel. I thought I had more shower gel, but I guess not. I've just been rotating through so much that I, whatever, okay. Um, and then I also have a shower jelly in here. I will never buy a shower jelly again. I think this was just more of like a fun thing I bought kind of on the spot. I actually purchased this during Christmas time. My sister and I went to Lush and I bought a couple of like little miniature sized things. This was in the snowman scent. I mean, it's cute. It smells good, but it's just like, it's, I don't know. It's not a realistic thing. Like if I had kids, maybe it would be fun for the kids to use, 
but it, I, I didn't use this as my shower gel. I would use shower gel and then go in with the shower jelly on top of the shower gel. So it was an extra step and it was just, I don't know. Maybe when I have kids, I'll consider purchasing that again. Um, but it was cute and it smelled good. And then as far as shower things go, I also have a Lush Snow Fairy body conditioner. This is another thing I bought around Christmas time. Oh my God. Snow Fairy is my ultimate favorite Lush scent. Mm, it smells so good. When this comes out for this season, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy like a big tub of the shower gel. I didn't buy any shower gel. Nope, that's a lie. I bought a miniature shower gel last year. But usually I buy like the big, like 32 ounce shower gel every year. I resisted last year only because I bought a ton of Vanilla Bean Noel. But I think I might this year just because, oh my God, it smells so good. It's like a sweet, candy oh it smells so good and the body conditioners if you guys are unaware it's an in shower it's actually very much like the jerkins it's an in shower body lotion um you put it on your skin you rinse it off and then you pat dry when you get out and it's like think of like conditioner for your hair but it's for your body love it you don't have to use actual lotion afterwards so love that and then i have two more hair care products in here oh Here's another shower gel. I knew I had another one. This is the Double Dare Honey Milk Drop Body Wash. This was nice and it smelled okay. It has like a honey scent to it. I don't know that I'll purchase it again simply because it had like little beads in it. And I don't know if those beads ended up like ever, like you can, I mean you guys can't see, but I can see in the little bit that's left. You know that whole debacle that was going on a long time ago where like beads in toothpaste were getting stuck in people's gums and then they were like doing something weird to the ocean? I wonder if this is similar where like do those beads turn into soap and kind of dissipate or do they stay and then I end up washing them down the drain and then I, I don't know. So I'm not going to buy that again. Um, okay, and then as far as more hair things. So Brio Gio is one of my favorite hair brands. They have really, really good stuff. These two products in particular are probably my two favorite things from Brio Gio. So the first one is the Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. It's basically like a really intense clarifying shampoo. Um, I loved this stuff a lot. I know a lot of people thought it was very gimmicky. I actually really, 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 really liked this a lot. It has like a minty scent to it. So it kind of like, you know, invigorates your scalp and makes it feel just nice and clean and just like minty. But I do feel like it really helps to get all of that gunk and sweat and dry shampoo and dead skin off of my scalp. And I do feel like it just like when I, it was just like, ah, like fresh, clean hair afterwards. You know what I mean? I really, really liked this. I will definitely purchase again. I'm trying to finish up a liter bottle of clarifying shampoo that I have in my shower right now. It's taking forever, but as soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to purchase the Brio Geo again. And then this is the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This is so good, you guys. It smells so, it almost has like a citrusy, slightly herbal, but like fresh scent to it. And it just moisturizes my hair so well. It makes my hair feel so good. Um, I have repurchased since this the Macadamia um, Deep, what is it called? Um, I think it's Macadamia Oil Mask. That was my favorite before this. And I do really like that one too. And that one's, it's less expensive. So, and you get more for your money. So I think I'll probably buy that and not this, but this was like a nice treat and I do really, 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 really like this product. It's just, I can get something I like also that's cheaper, so it's kind of, ugh. But it is, it is really good. Um, as far as like the hair care goes, I have a few more hair care things in here that I can see right on top. Um, so the first thing is my, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I have other versions or types of products like this, like an all-in-one deep conditioning spray after the shower type product. So I have one by Milkshake that I'm using now, which smells like butterscotch. It smells so good and it does equally amazing things to my hair, but you can only buy it online. So I'm like, ah, I might not repurchase that one again. I have a Brio Geo version of this that I actually don't like. <laughs> it leaves my hair kind of sticky if you go overboard on it. Um, but it's a 10. It's like, 
the OG. I will probably always repurchase It's a 10 just because it is like, there's nothing quite like It's a 10. It does 10 things. So it does add shine, detangles, controls, fit, frizz, repairs, dry and damaged hair, seals and protects hair, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances, na enhances natural body, and flat iron thermal protection. It's just amazing, you guys. And this bottle is humongous. To finish that up, I have my wet brush. I can't believe I actually like, I'm putting this in an empties video, but I went and got my hair done. If you can't tell, it is like a million times shorter. I keep fussing with it because this is the first day. Today is the first day I've filmed with my shorter hair, like not curled. So I'm just kind of like, I keep looking in the viewfinder and I'm like, oh, it just, it just looks so different from what I'm used to, but it is so much more healthy. It's like softer, there's more bounce to it. It looks thicker. Um, but anyways, when I was there, I told her that my wet brush was like not working as well as it used to. And she said, well, when's the last time you replaced it? And I was like, well, I've never replaced it. I, I bought it like five, six years ago and I've never replaced it. And if you look close enough, the bristles are all like kind of bent and just kind of mangled. And that actually makes it less effective, which I didn't think about it I don't know so I repurchased this and it's way better like my new version is way way better so keep in mind that if your bristles get too flexible and they're kind of bent and all gross then it's probably time to buy a new one so I did and then I think that's it for hair care okay moving on to God, I have so much more stuff let's talk about skincare next um so I have a couple of makeup removing type products I think these are the only two that I have. So I have the Bobbi Brown Soothing Cleansing Oil. I did not like this stuff at all, you guys. I got this in a gift set that came with this and the uh, face base. Remember when the Vitamin Rich face base was totally sold out everywhere? The only place I could find it was Nordstrom, and the only place it came in a set with this. So that's why I ended up buying this. I just, I will not buy that again. It didn't take my makeup off at all, like my eye makeup. So there's that. And then I have the Sephora um, Triple Action Cleansing Water. This is really, really good. I have a backup of this. I have the bigger version of it that has like the pump on it. This is a super good cleansing micellar water. If you want something to just kind of refresh your skin in the morning, like before the gym or after the gym, um, or if you need something to help you get what your other cleansers don't get, like residue, eye makeup, eyelash glue, I mean, uh, liquid lipstick. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. This stuff is so stinking good. It really does work super well. And then as far as makeup wipes go, I have two of the Kirkland's makeup wipes. I don't actually use these on my face. I use these in the morning when I'm getting ready. I have them in that little pink thing right there. Um, to get swatches off the back of my hand, things like that. I mean, I will occasionally use them on my face. And when I go on vacation, I'll use them on my face because I have like a little pack. The box of these at, um, is it Kirkland? Yeah. The box at Costco comes with like six of these big pouches and then two little travel sized ones. So I do use those when I'm on vacation because it's kind of like how many products do you want to bring with you on vacation? You know what I mean? Um, so I think those are all the makeup removing things. I have two sheet masks. I've been trying to be better about keeping my sheet mask foils, um, because every time I film one of these, I mentioned to you that I use sheet masks like crazy. I use at least one a week and I always forget to save the little pouch. I just kind of toss it because it's so messy. You know what I mean? But I kept two of them. So this is the, um, BioBell Unicorn Shake Mask. I love BioBell masks, you guys. They are probably my favorite sheet masks. I continue to repurchase them over and over and over again. The unicorn ones are kind of gimmicky. I mean, they smell good, whatever. This one had dark red cherry and yogurt in it. But my favorite one is, there's a yo blueberry yogurt one that's really good. And the cupcake one is really good too, so. Those are good. Um, this was a new one. This was the Yes to Carrots Vitamin Enriched Kale Paper Mask. I actually didn't like this. The mask itself was too much like paper. It wasn't like a fabric. It was literally like a sheet of paper that was saturated in serum. And it, it just, I didn't like the way it feel, it felt. Plus the holes for your eyes were just kind of funky feeling and shaped. And I, 
it wasn't a mask you could wear and do things with. It was a mask you had to like lay down and shut your eyes and like, I mean, maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. So there's that. Um, I have one face wash in here. This is the Kate Somerville Gentle Daily Wash. This is like, this thing lasted forever, you guys. I use this every single morning in the shower on my Clarisonic, and I swear to you, I had it for like six months. It lasted literally forever, and when I thought it was gone, I still had like a month's worth of use out of it. It just kept going and going and going. It's crazy, and I think that's the way that the bottle is designed because you store it like this, and it has like a little twisty thing, and then the product squirts out of the bottom, so, it's just the way it's stored. I feel like you can get every little last drop out of it and you only need the tiniest bit. So it lasted forever and I do really like it. I've already repurchased that. So um, as far as moisturizers go, I have the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is the huge tube. I actually wish I would have repurchased the tube instead of the tub. I repurchased the tub version and I just, I like the tube version a little bit better. If you guys have watched my videos long enough, you know that I use this stuff all the time. I use it every day. I use it every night on my, like my whole face. It's kind of like my night cream. And then I use it every day on my neck. Sometimes I'll put it on my hands, my arms. It's just the best all-in-one like hydrating moisturizer. And then the Peter Thomas Roth Rose Stem Cell. Um, this is my favorite daytime moisturizer. Mm, it smells like rose. It's totally gone. I bought this because I wanted to have the perfect skincare regimen leading up to my wedding, which was in May. So that means I haven't done an empties video since like June or July. Whatever. Um, I wanted to have like my favorite perfect skincare routine leading up to my wedding because I wanted to make sure my skin was at its best. You know what I mean? So I had tons of moisturizers but I wanted to repurchase this, so I did, and then I used just this leading up to my wedding and then afterwards until it was gone. This is my favorite moisturizer. I have a lot of backups of moisturizer. If you guys haven't seen, it might not have gone up on my channel yet, but I just filmed like a bathroom beauty cabinet declutter. You will see I have like five full-size moisturizers on backup, and it's kind of like, I don't know where all these moisturizers came from. So I need to use those before I buy any more, but this is my favorite. I think once I finish what's in there, unless one of those completely blows this out of the water, like the drunk elephant one is the drunk elephant one is in there. And that one might, I don't know, I haven't used it yet, but so it's like unless I find a new favorite, I'll probably just repurchase this going forward. So there's that. I have a couple more uh, skincare things. So I have three serums in here. I was corrected by you guys. It's serum. <laughs> I was saying serum before, but serum is the proper way to say it. So I have um, two daytime serums. Actually, this is a nighttime serum, but I used it in the day. That was just how I liked to use it. The Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I want to buy this again, but it is incredibly expensive. So I think I'm going to try new things. Right now I'm using the Drunk Elephant. It kind of looks like this. The um, vitamin C serum. The thing is, I think, so I've been using that, I've been switching between that and the Peter Thomas Roth vitamin C day serum. I think it's breaking my skin out because I've been having like really bad breakouts lately. And that's the only thing that's changed about my skincare. So I don't know. But when I used this, my skin was amazing. Again, I used it leading up to my wedding. I even bought a little tiny version of this to take to my wedding with me, like my Punta Cana destination wedding. It's just really good. It's just, it makes my skin like soft and supple and hydrated and glowy and like, oh, so good. But it's expensive. Um, this is actually an eye cream. For some reason, I thought it was a serum. It's an eye cream. So it's the Drunk Elephant C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. This stuff, I feel like I used it quicker than I thought I was going to. I thought I'd be able to use this a lot. And it only lasted me a couple of months. So I don't know. And I was really careful too about only squirting out like a little bit, like meat, like a little bit at a time. But I still feel like it just ran out really, really fast. I did discover with these products, you can pop the top. Oh, maybe the eye cream isn't like the serums. I can't imagine it would be any different though. I was wondering, aha, I was wondering how they worked because you pump them. But here's what the inside looks like. I can't take this off. 
but you can see it kind of like as you pump it it pushes it up and up and up and up and up and then once it gets up there it's gone and it's it's gone like it gets every little last drop out of there but I was kind of curious how those things work so there you go in case you were curious as well I don't know that I'm going to repurchase this I actually really like the Kiehl's eye creams so I probably will not buy that one again and then Sunday Riley Good Jeans um this is a night treatment I wouldn't even call it a serum it's a treatment so this has What does it have in it? It has some sort of like acid, lactic acid, I believe is what's in here. It's all kind of rubbed off because I had it forever. I actually got to the point where I pulled this out. So I was trying to take the top off of it to scrape out the inside and I realized that it had like a little bag. So you guys can't really see because I used every last drop. I mean, there's a little bit left in there. But this is another thing where there was like a tube within the jar. So this little tube it kind of looks like a baby formula bag. Anyways, is what contained the product. So I wasn't able to like scrape it out like I was hoping to, but I was able to squish it up and then get a couple more uses out of it. But this is really good. I think I like the Drunk Elephant TLC. I'm, I'm really liking the, is it ABA? Um, I have my pharmacy one right here too. A-H-A, B-H-A. I'm really liking that type of night treatment a little bit better. I feel like it does better things to my skin. So I don't know that I'll repurchase this right away, but it is a really good night treatment. It does like kind of resurface your skin and just make it look better. Um, okay, getting to the bottom of the bag here, I have two beauty blender type things. I have an actual beauty blender that is gone and gross. And then I have this Real Techniques like exfoliating sponge beauty blender type thing. I did a video about this. If I can find it, I will link it down below for you guys. This was okay. I mean, it's super exfoliating. But basically what I would do is I would take my makeup off and then put my face wash in this. And then scrub this on my face. I just feel like maybe it was a little bit too harsh for my face. So I won't repurchase that. But it was kind of like a cool thing to try. Um, I have a Clarisonic brush head. I've had, I needed to replace this a long time ago. I used it way longer than I should have. Um, a Beauty Blender Cleanser Liquid. I think I'm going to stick to the solids from now on instead of the liquids. This did last me a really, really long time though. But I think I like the solid Beauty Blender Cleanser a little bit better. Um, okay, so now I have strictly makeup left. I have four eyebrow pencils. So I have two of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. These are my favorite eyebrow pencils. I will always have at least a couple of these in my collection because they're my ultimate favorite. They have a spoolie on one side and I just feel like it's the best formula for the teeny, 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 tiny, like hair-like strokes, you know what I mean? So good. Um, I have a Benefit Goof Proof. I wish I got it. You can hear, you can tell when you're done with these because they click. Can you hear that? Um, I kind of rediscovered this when I was decluttering my collection and I did really like it. But I found that even when I used this, I would sometimes go in with something like the Brow Wiz and fill in like to make it, you know, look like natural hair strokes. But this is a good, like if you need a one, one and done type pencil that's fast, the Goof Proof is good. And then the... Too Faced Chocolate Brownie. I won't buy this again. Um, it is kind of like, it's one of those like diamond shaped tips where it's a little bit unique, kind of like the Goof Proof. But the formula on this was just subpar. I loved it and then I hated it and then I loved it and then I hated it and I was like, eh, there's better eyebrow pencils out there. So I won't buy that again. Um, I have an eyeliner by Marc Jacobs. This is their Matte Gel Eye Crayon in the color Earthquake. I liked this, but I didn't like it as much as other matte brown pencils that I have. I really like the Ardency In is my favorite, so and it's way cheaper than this. So I think I'll stick to the Ardency In, but this was nice to like try and you know have something different. Um, I have one thing of lashes in here. These are the Lily Lash Miami. I haven't had lashes in my empties for a while because I've only been using Lily Lashes. Today I actually went back to Ardell. Um, but with the Lily Lashes, I feel like I use them until they are, like, donezo because they're so expensive. They're like $40 a pair. 
So I just try to get as many uses out of them as possible, out of them as possible. Um, these ones got to the point where there's so much eyelash glue on them and I was trying to pick the glue off and it was, the lashes were falling apart. And so they were really good. The Miami version is like, it's what everybody likes and it is pretty, but I think I like other styles better. But it was good. Um, I have a setting powder. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder Compact in the color 2. I actually didn't like this at all. It made whatever I put it on top of, anything that I put it on top of. So sometimes I would put it on top of foundation to set foundation with. Sometimes I would put it as like a powder foundation or I'd set concealer with it. Everything looked cakey. Like it just, it was not a good powder. I used it because it was expensive. It was like 60 bucks. I used every little drop of it, but I will not repurchase this again. And I would not recommend this to anybody. It's just really cakey. Like it, I didn't like it. Um, and then I have an eyelash curler in here. This is something you don't replace very often, but I got a new one. I got the um, Kevin Aquan one. And it's kind of hard to see, but the pad in here is, it has a split down the middle and it's not supposed to have that split, but it's because I've used it so much. Um, and what happened was my lashes were getting stuck in that little split and then they were being pulled out. So I replaced it. You probably could just replace the little pad because I think, yeah, you can pull the little pad out. I don't know if you'll be able to see the split. So I probably just could have replaced this, but I didn't. I just bought a, well, actually I got the Kevin Aquan one in PR, so it was perfect. Um, and then this bag right here is all of my 13 by Halloween products. I put them in a separate bag because I want to keep them all until the end of that project pan challenge so I can show you guys everything I've used up together. But these are all the products from that challenge that I've used up so far. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've used up half of the products already. So that is what is in there. And that is the end of my empties video. Holy cow. <laughs> That was a lot of empties. I told you guys, I hope you had a snack. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions about any of the products, list those, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> list those in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.